So how are we doing everyone? So today we're going to learn how to install a hard drive, a 2.5 drive, right into the Prime 2 controller from the internet. Now you want to load up a bunch of MP3s and use this by yourself without connecting to a computer. Therefore that we need to install a drive. So today in this video you're going to learn how to install the 2 terabyte drive right into the Prime 2 and all the steps, we're going to do that right now. All right, so we are ready for the installation and you see what it just did. Are you ready for a pillow there? Yes, because do, do that the design or the way the controller is, right? So we got all these knobs and all these things coming up and we got the screen that, that is solid, doesn't go anywhere, that screen. You cannot make that flat. If you just go right on the top of the table, you're going to destroy the controller. So I think the best way for me is just grab a pillow and that's perfect. It's still soft and nothing is going to... Nothing is going to get damaged that way. Anyway, we need to do this once. We open, we store the drive, and we're ready to go. All right, as we see, it's uh, pretty simple to install the drive. So we put the 2.5 drive. So on this section now, we're gonna go and format the drive and transfer some of the MP3s. So I'm gonna show you that right now. All right, so we are ready to activate the hard drive or format the drive. In this case, you need to hook up a computer, either Windows or Mac. In this case, we have a Windows 11. So we're gonna connect the USB drive and connect it right in your computer that will be the same way if you're going to be running virtual DJ or Serato, that's what we're going to connect. We're not going to load any software. So at this point, we're going to bring this down and we're going to click source. And then we click the computer. That's the way if you want to use an external software and we click yes. So now it's activating and the computer will see like it installed a brand new drive. So what I'm going to do, we can go and search for hard drive or drive finalization. So we see it right here, a creator or former hard drive because I already searched for it. All right, I will put the screen right there. And if you see, it actually detected. So we can in in initiate the drive, but I'm going to put cancel right now. I'm going to open the screen. And I can show you right over here, we allocated it's two terabytes, a little less always is that. So we need to right click there and what we're going to do we're going to in initial all the drive and then we format all right so now after we activate the drive we need to format the drive there is two options with the format the drive it has to be the fat 32 or ex fat so in this case then we're going to be using ex fat All right, so after we format the drive, automatic the drive will appear in my computer as an external drive. That's the beauty of this. So if I go right now and looking at my computer, I can see right now my Prime 2. Now, let's just mention for a second, in my case, I do have an external drive for the MP3s. That's pretty simple. I can grab it from the external and bring it in or grab it from my computer. If you look into the drive, 
right? And automatic create uh, an engine library and also I just threw a directory there, a uh, um, bunch of MP3s, but pretty simple to transfer things out here. So this much for a second, I'm gonna go into my external drive and I'm gonna go in and just grab, just grab a directory here. I'm gonna control C to copy or we can select all from the mouse, whatever the way you think is the best for you. At that point, I'm gonna go back into my prime and I go control C and copy it over. So it's gonna copy now the mp3s right into the prime tool. All right, so it's right there. So what it becomes a super info to transfer music from your laptop or desktop right into prime tool, super easy. Now, since we're gonna use a standard long, so I'm gonna go ahead and exit this out. Let's change the screen so we can see that. So I'm gonna exit that out. I say yes. So now it gets disconnected, the system is resetting and we will to see the local drive. All right, so we are ready. So if you pull the menu down, right, and we click source, now we can see the internal drive. All right, and if we go right here, we see Prime 2, all right? So if we go library here or folders, I see the folder I just created. So let's click the, the underground. If I want to load this into my left track or whatever, and just right there, and it shows it's simple. The beauty of this is we can easily easy transfer music from either desktop or, or laptop, whatever you have in the Mac or Windows, if we can easily transfer it into the internal drive. Right? In this case, we use two terabytes. You can put more if you want. I think that in this case, it's super easy to do that. All right, guys. So what I'm going to do now, so you guys don't go crazy trying to search this while you get all these things I'm telling you right now, I will leave the link right below this video so you can make it yours the Varakura drive and the controller i will leave all the links right below this video and remember to subscribe to media box cnt why because we're going to bring more additional equipment more tech that will help you and to your next project to become a super dj and i'll see you next time bye